Hi, it's Clinton. We're looking for some feedback on a new feature of version 0 0.30.4 of the ZDCLI called ZD Edge Quick Start. So if you'll notice, I'm running here in a PowerShell prompt and not in a Windows subsystem for Linux prompt and not in Bash. So ZD Edge Quick Start is a new feature that will create a running Quick Start environment for you that is ephemeral. It's only good for short-term testing. It's not meant for long-term testing. Um, and so we're looking for some feedback on that. In order to run it though, we're gonna to need to have ZD on our path. As you can see, I don't have ZD. If you're in PowerShell, you can run this command, invoke an expression that invokes a web request and pulls down the get ZD PS1 script. When I run that, it'll ask me where I wanna put it, take the default. I'll pull down the zip file, it'll unzip it, and then it'll ask me if it wants me to put, wants it, wants me to, or it to put it on my path. I'll say yes. Now I can type the word ZD and ZD runs. So I said it's called ZD Edge Quick Start. And so, oops, actually what we want to do, we want to hopefully clear up here. Uh, so ZD Edge Quick Start runs a controller and router in Quick Start mode. So that means by default, it'll be a totally ephemeral network. There are some parameters that you can pass it, password, username, router port, controller port, controller address, things like that. You don't have to pass any of that. So if you want the fastest quick start ever, you can just run ZD Edge quick start. It'll create a PKI. It'll start the controller. It'll start the router all in a single process. And so you can see uh, right now, don't know what I've done. Oh, there it goes. Okay, cool. I must have, I hit a button and I, my scroll back wasn't scrolling, but now it's complete. And so if I make another window, run ZD again, you'll see I don't have ZD on my path. Here, control R or invoke web expression, get ZD on my path again. And now I can do a ZD edge login, dash U admin, dash P admin actually login to local host 1280, admin admin minus Y. And you can see I'm logged in to the edge list. Edge routers, routers, there we go. Shows me a quick start router is online and is true. And if I control C up here, you can see it tells me up here that it is removing the temp directory located at that location. And so totally nothing's left behind. And so there's our quick start already. At that moment, you can stop watching the video. That's the whole feature, but we, what we can do next we can explore a couple of these commands. Let's go with router port and controller port. This time we're gonna run controller port on port 8,000, router port on port 9,000, and uh, let's see, controller address will leave the same. It'll just default to my host name. Uh, that should be good enough, let's run that. It'll again emit a minimal, minimal PKI, and when it's done, Net stat dash AMO pipe rep or 8,000. Should see some 8,000s in there. And I do okay, over here, the ones I want to see. Do a 9,000. And we have a 9,000 as well. Now I should be able to do ZD edge login local host 1,000 admin admin minus Y ZD edge. Edge, routers, not mine and true. And there you have it. There is uh, actually, we've got one more interesting feature that you might, you may like. You can see when the quick start is complete, uh, it will remove the environment. It will shut down our spree. So if I arm dir dir. So I'm gonna, I, what I did is I just made a new directory. So now, I'll add home and say C colon temp quick start. And you'll see now down here, when I list this directory, it'll make a database, it'll make a PKI, it'll emit a controller config file, it'll emit a quick start router config file. If you look at not in this directory, it's, uh, Um, you'll see it, it creates a very minimal PKI, puts it all in the normal quick starty kind of places, does all the same quick starty stuff, 
we have the port changed to port 9000 we have the advertised host being my host name and now when i control c this environment will be left intact so what i can do the second time around is i can say already initialized and it'll just all start right back up again and so while it's ephemeral you can kind of make it a little bit less than ephemeral and so that's the ZD Edge quick start in a like hopefully five minute nutshell. Um, let us know. I'm going to leave this video on discourse, comment in the video below, comment over on discourse, which you can find at, after going to our um, doc page, you can click on the discourse button here and get to openzd.discourse.group and I'll be a post here waiting for you. All right, cheers.